Hey everyone, it is Mike, and we are back with our second foray into the great campaigns of the American Civil War. This is still in the Atlanta is ours module, and this is uh, a hypothetical scenario. It's called the gap is blocked. So if you recall our first uh, my first my first video on the GCA CW it was a scenario take to about taking Rosaka and Rosaka is right here it was a scenario about taking Rosaka and it was McPherson's uh, lost opportunity of a lifetime is what it was called um, so this posits that Johnston and Hood at all um, blocked Snake Creek Gap, which, if you recall, these units are where the Union forces entered. Uh, basically, they were strung out on this road here. So in this scenario, they're saying, "Okay, well, what if what if they plugged up the gap here and the gaps along the mountain?" Well, Sherman might have ordered an assault along the right flank, which we can see is pretty undefended. There's some cavalry skirmishing, I would say, but there's not, uh, there's really only this unit. Uh, everyone else is kind of assigned to plug a gap, um, except that unit. So, uh, Here's the scenario, restrictions or guidelines. So the Union's going to get the first initiative, and they have to activate someone from the Army of Tennessee, which is this stack here and this stack here. Okay, and then the next restriction, or the next thing, is the Confederate generals, Hood, Hardy, and Johnston, or excuse me, Hardy Hood and Polk, and Polk is off map right now. He arrives as a reinforcement on turn three. Uh, they may activate, be attached to, and transfer to any Confederate unit. So they're a little bit different. So like Hood's division and then Hardy's division, the green and the red, so they can activate each other, but they can only activate a maximum of three units. Then, uh, the next special rule is regarding some Union movement, or, well, it's a Confederate movement restriction. So infantry units may not enter the 0-3 row or higher. So there's no, no cheating up and sending these guys up to block the pass. Next, we have Union movement restrictions. So they cannot enter 1817 or 2620 at all. And they may only enter 1415 if they first enter 1314. So really, the only passes that they can take are here against these entrenched units, here against these entrenched units, here against these entrenched units, and so on. Everyone is entrenched. All right. Well, how do you win? So, the Union wins a marginal victory at 15 VP. So, Union gets VP for Tilton, they get 35 if they capture this hex at the end of the game. Undemoralized infantry unit occupies that end of game. Uh, Dalton, they get 30 points. If they don't have either of those, if they have any hex in between, they get 20 victory points. Um, and then there's manpower losses. And it's two points for each Union manpower loss, and three points for each Confederate manpower loss to the respective sides. 
And then at the end of the game, like I said, Union Union wins at 15 or more. So it's a three-turn scenario. And what I will say is that I've only played this once. I found it pretty difficult to survive as the Confederate. Um, but uh, given the given kind of how the system works, I think uh, I think this might be one of the ones where you don't necessarily try to win as the Confederate. Well, I mean you do, but it's really one side plays as the Union sees the high score they can post, and then the other side plays as the Union sees the score they can post, and then the winner would just be whoever uh, whoever's uh, higher. But um, I guess the other thing we're saying is that it is, you know, as well established, a very uh, dice heavy system, so anything can happen. Um, so I know I didn't talk about it in my first video, and we're gonna we're gonna get rolling here in just a minute. Um, but uh, there's a couple of things that we didn't cover in the first video. Um, one, flanking. Uh, that's almost certainly going to come up in this in this video. Uh, two, we really didn't talk about leader transfers. Three, we didn't talk about recovery. Um, all of those things will come up in this scenario. Um, but I think that's about it. There's no rain for us to contend with. We're not going to build any bridges. Um, so let's get started. All right. So the first thing we'll decide is if we want to do any leader transfers. Um, and I believe the Union goes first and then the Confederates. Um, and the Union is going to say, well, we kind of have our guys right where we want them to, to be. So just to kind of go over, we have Schofield here. And he's a district leader, which means he gets a uh, extra two to his command value when he's organizing an assault. So his value would be a six. Um, we have Logan, or excuse me, McPherson in the Army of the Tennessee. And then down here, we have, uh, I believe, Thomas and the Army of the Cumberland? Yes, that's right. Um, the Rock of Chickamauga. Uh, and, of course, he is with uh, the South's favorite son, uh, William Tecumseh Sherman. Um, so, let's see what we can do to uh, get going. So, first off, we'll roll. And as a reminder, in this module, Atlanta is ours, uh, you have the Union winning all ties of 1, 2, and 3. Uh, Confederate wins ties of 4, 5, and 6. So let's go and... Well, oh, that's right. Union automatically wins the first. So I almost uh, got ahead of myself. So um, no transfers for the Union. However... Hardy will transfer, and we are going to stick him with Hinman. Uh, nope, we'll stick him there, and we will move Johnston there as well. We'll see. Uh, actually, we'll move Hood here. Okay, so let's start by taking a look here, and let's go ahead and activate Dodge. So we get to go six. So we'll fatigue Veach and Sweeney. We'll go one, two, three. All right, so I'm going to say... 3 MP spent, 6 total, we remember that when we go with uh, 
Sweeney. So now Joe Wheeler gets to decide whether he wants to cav retreat or not. So I know it's been a while. Actually, keep dodge with him. So when we, sh we show up with uh, Joe Wheeler, we're matched up good. All right. So we have three movement points left, and it's looking like we're going to take the... Um, we're going to take the cav retreat, uh, because if we don't, we're staring down a couple of nasty modifiers. Um, plus four for ratio, even for tactical, nothing for artillery, nothing for logistics. So we're looking at plus four and yeah. So we're going to take the cav retreat. And we have our handy great campaigns rule book and we will go to cav retreat which is i think seven seven yes all right so we first roll a die five so then we have oh well first we check for any modifiers Okay, uh, nothing for large force or very large force. Uh, no, no modifiers apply. So it's five modified to two and a half, round down to two. So we lose two movement points. So we have one left. And the cav must retreat four to six hexes, and we will flip it to its uh, disorganized side, which is, I need to learn the shortcut. Control L. So let's see. Retreat priorities. Cav retreat. All right. So we can go one, two. We can go one, two. Three, four, Dalton, and then we could go five, six, or five, six. And why don't we stick out in Dalton? So we have one movement point left. So we can go in a couple of different directions. Uh, we can go here. I guess all it really comes down to is what we want to do with this guy. Because he's going to have six moon points. He's going to go one, two, three. And then since this is a ten, um, movement. And that's a clear hex, so that'll cost two to go in there. So one, two, four, five, yeah. Um, on the other hand, we don't want to block this stack either. And we don't want to block Schofield from moving up here. So we're going to go here for six. Now, we do have the option to cav retreat. And let's think about that for a second. So if we attack, it'll be a column of route attack, which has a minus three. But we're at a 10 to one to start. 
So that's plus 9. So that'll be plus 6. Plus 2 for tactical is plus 8. And then nothing for artillery. If you're looking at a plus 8 and probably annihilating that unit. So it is going to retreat. Okay. So this is a small force because it has a combat value of more than half and is one or less. So minus two to the roll. So four, two, and then you have that for one. So it only reduces the movement allowance one. So it flips and it is fatigued. And then we go one, two, three, four. Okay. So the uh, the Confederates scatter. All right. So now six. One, two, three. Let me go four, five, six. Let's see what Kelly does. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think that's a better move. All right, initiative. All right, so it's Confederate. So the way I do it is CSA die, USA die. How I remember it, C comes before U. Okay. Um, so I'm going to activate Walker with Hood. And this is, since this is the first time I've done this, I will show it. So units movement allowance. Um, it's being activated by an infantry leader. So it's 1d6 plus 2. So Hood will activate Walker only. So 5. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. Initiative. It is the CSA again. Um, Martin will activate his cavalry. So it is, since again, this is the first time, uh, cavalry division leader, it is two. Or is it a division leader or a core leader? Yeah, it's a core leader. So it's 2d6 plus 3. Not good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And 5 as well. Initiative. All right. It is the Union. So let's go. Hmm. All right, let's go with uh, Logan. All right, so Logan and the Army of Tennessee, they're going seven. So we're going to go one, two, three, and we'll take Logan with Harrow. Four, five. So they have two MP left. And we will do a cav retreat. So they roll a two, which is half down to one. So they lose one MP, so they have one MP left. And again, we flip, we fatigue. We go one, 
to three, four. And then for our last hex, we can go to here. And uh, again, we'll cav retreat this unit as well. To avoid annihilation. We can run through it again, but it is a 12 to 1, so it is uh, not an attack. They're looking to stand. So this time we'll retreat them 6. All right, so coming back to ML Smith, we can go seven. So we can go one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so there would be yeah, it would be eight to go there. We only have seven. We can go one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, initiative. CSA. Well, the CSA's cavalry is super strung out. But we also have a problem here in that we don't want... Basically, we'll, we want to plug the creeks. So we've got a unit here. We want to get a unit to, to 1205. So, unfortunately, we don't have anyone really that we could strip from the line anywhere. Um, let me just check really quickly. Yeah, I mean, what I would like to do is do like a detachment, um, but there are no rules for that in this uh, scenario. It is strictly for uh, advanced games. So here's what we're going to do. I This is the mistake that I made in when I played. is that as the Confederate, I hung on to these hexes because I was like, wow, you know, these guys are in really nice forts. We want to hang on to that. Well, you do, but not at the cost of letting the Union through the line. I think. So let's give it a shot. So Hardy will activate Stevenson, Hindman, um... Yeah, let's go we'll activate Hinman and Stevenson. So we'll roll. So seven. So let's delete the entrenchment. So sad to see. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Er. How much would it be to go through six? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then one, two. Maybe that's a mistake. I don't know. All right, um, it's tied, but it's twos, so the union goes first.
Well. Let's see what we can do to take advantage of this gap here. Um, Schofield. Seven. So let's fatigue his units. Um, all right, so we'll go one, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we are one big happy family. <laughs> <clears throat> all right next two or next initiative uh it is the union again uh so let's run the odds they have 18 there if we get all of them firing we get a one-to-one -one. And we get a one to one with plus one for tactical. What are the odds of that? Well, we would have to get when we roll the die. We would need to roll a one or a two to activate all three units on the assault die. Um, sorry if this isn't uh, super exciting, but I want to make sure and I'm playing it and I'm showing it to you guys the right way. All right. The roll is five or less. Subtract the modified number from the active leader's command value. All right. Um, so if we if we if they have a four, Schofield has a four, and we're subtracting two from our roll. The highest we can roll is a four. So to activate three units, yeah, we would need to roll. A one, two, or three, so fifty percent chance. So not bad. But if we don't hit it. We still have to follow through with the attack. So maybe we want to wait. Um. So let's go. Um, with McPherson. Uh, excuse me, with Logan here. So five. Let's go one, two. Actually, we'll go one, and then here we'll do the roll. So that's a two. And since they have a combat value, of one half, is a very small force. So there's no MP lost. So I'll bump up another fatigue level and go one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, yeah, so 
That's one. Two. All right, we won't retreat. Three. We won't retreat. Four. Ditto. Five. And then we'll go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. All right, USA again. So let's go dodge. Oh boy. It's a bit of a non-starter there. We'll go one, two. And we'll go two. Uh, CSA. Well, CSA can't strip this line much further without just giving up entirely, um, but i going to try and do something. All right. So, cheat them. They need a one, uh, so they're really not going to be able to go there. CSA again. Um, let's go Stevenson. One, two, three, four. A bit of a risk, but CSA, so we'll go Cheatham. And he can go there. If the USA had won that initiative and they had slid right through, that would be, uh, uh well, I guess they couldn't because they would have had to stop there because of the Zach rule. But still. Um, Alright, let's see. USA. Um, let's go McCook. We'll activate his two CAV units. So they get to go. Uh, they get to go. He's a CAV division leader, so he, they get to go 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. USA again. Let's go, Howard. So Howard's going to get to motor. Five, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. All right, Union at the end. Actually, four, two, three, four. Is that what I want to do? Eh, there's fine. Let's go with Palmer. It's three, one, two, one, one. 
Wait. CSA. Uh, CSA will activate Stevenson A. <laughs> um, just say that Hardy activated him because he's in range. Why not? One, two, three. And we'll make an EM roll. So five. High is not good. Uh, okay. So. They're on normal side going from two to three. So no modifiers for that. Actually, they're going to make it. They would have needed a six. Next time they go, they'll have a plus one. They're gonna they're gonna go again because they need to plug the hole here. So they'll be going to four and we'll roll. Yeah. So now they are disorganized. Push too far. All right. Uh, CSA. CSA will pass. So the Union. Oh, forgot to... Yeah. Let's go... Let's go Howard's core. We'll activate wood. So he can go. And then he can go. And we'll roll for him. He's good. CSA. CSA will continue to pass. So Union. Let's go with Geary. So Geary. We'll go one, two, three, four, five. Union. So Hooker will activate Butterfield and Williams. All right, so one, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, one, two, three. All right, CSA will continue to pass, so Union. We'll activate Williams, and we'll use the one hex minimum to get him there. Alright. Uh, CSA. CSA will continue to pass, so we'll go Union. Um, let's go Davis. So we'll do the one hex min. CSA will pass, we'll go Baird. He didn't quite make it. Um, all right. So Union, uh, let's see. Let's go Kilpatrick. Six plus one is seven. So 
So one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so union. Let's go. Let's see. Ninth Illinois, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Union. The question is, do we run up some people to three and exhaust them for tomorrow, or do we wait? I think the responsible thing is to wait. I mean, we can try this one and see if we get lucky. Um, we can try that one. That one is... Man, the artillery is such a multiplier, though. Hmm... All right, tell you what, let us assault with Howard's Corps. So they all go up one. Uh, it does not trigger an EM roll for our fatigued unit. And we'll roll our assault. So we get a one. So if we go back to the rules, um, apply any appropriate numbers and subtract the modified number from the unit's command value. That is the assault number. So, the assault number is the command value of 5 minus 1, which is 4, which means 4 units can assault. Now, we can do grand assault. We could do a grand assault if it was in range, if Sherman was in range. Like if we were attacking this one here, but we're not. So we have 41 to 10. So let's start with four to one odds. All right. So that is a plus three. Artillery. We have three, five to three, so that nets out to plus two, so no effect. Uh, tactical is even. Uh, we have a plus one for assault. We have a minus one for creek. Um... There is no flank, unfortunately. So it'll be a plus three attack, which is pretty good. So let's roll it. So CSA, USA. Uh, so bloody, but 
is going to be a plus two to the union, which will get that big, big retreat result. All right, so let's uh, let's just go through the process here because it's been a little while since I've had to do it. All right, so combat results are always applied to the defending units first. So let's look at the defender. So they had 10, and plus 2 is 1. So they take a manpower, and then capital D. So it is disorganized, which I believe is O. Oops, just gave them two manpower. L, yep. And they go to four fatigue level. And then they have a small R, which is a retreat. So they retreat two. to four hexes. They can go there, one, and then we'll leave them in Dalton for two. So then we'll say that we have gained, um, where are you? Here we go. So they have lost one manpower which is worth three VP for us, the union. So let's come back to here. So again, we were attacking with a lot. So we had 26, 41. So we're all the way over here. So that is a three David advance. So let's go. We'll take it from, well, I can do these however I want. So we're gonna take it from the exhausted division. And that's three. So USA losses, three. You know, actually, we're going to leave the Union, we're going to leave the manpower, we're going to leave the victory point calculation uh, for later. Right now, it's minus four to the Rebels. Um, so then, we get the uh, disorganized result. And let's see. The letter result applies to each participating unit. Okay. So they all run up to four. And they are all disorganized. However, and this is critical, they get to advance. So hopefully that's worth it in the long run and they don't immediately get smacked around. However, if you're Sherman, and I am, and you're looking at this hex here, well now, you've got a pretty good flanking attack on it, because all these hexes are covered. And the only one that's going to get mitigated is this one, because there's no path in between it. 
So you'd be looking at a plus three for a flank. All right, so initiative, union. The question is, do you want to do that? I'm gonna say not for right now, because we wanna have some units in good order for um, tomorrow's fighting. Uh, but we will move up this stack of cavalry. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five. All right, uh, Union again. Well, I mean, we could try and attack with McCook. An attack with McCook might be a good idea for the same reasons that uh, they are surrounded. Yeah, let's do that. So the question is, do we try an assault? We have a very low chance of getting to go with both units. So obviously, let's try it. Yeah. McCook says, not today. All right, CSA. Well, is there anything the CSA can do? Because not only is this unit flanked, but this unit is in danger as well. Um, tell you what, uh, let's look at, where is Donde Esta Entrenching? Um, 5.5, 5. 1864. All right. So let's place an abatis there. So yes, say, and we'll do the same. USA. Now, if we go against Govan here, let's just look at our flank. Uh, I thought there was a chart for it. So basic flank would be plus four. So actually only five hexes are covered. So we'd be starting with a plus two. Oh, 
woods hex sides. Mountain or swamp hexes. All right. Yeah. So they would have a plus two. So what do we fare this? Twenty-three to eighteen, so one to one, and then four for artillery is no effect. So plus one for assault. We'd be looking at a plus three. Well, let's go for it. All right, so here's our assault roll. So three. Uh, so three, we subtract two from is one. So four minus one is three. So the assault goes off. So we calculated this at plus three. So we'll just run through it again. Um, so here we go. Uh, one to one is zero. Oh, I forgot tactical. Tactical plus one. Assault plus one. Blank plus two. For a total of plus four, so we'll go CSA USA. So the Union gets the decisive blow that they were looking for. So that is a plus seven. All right. So plus seven. And uh, the defender had six plus seven, which is two. David Capital R So it is demoralized and demoralization pretty rough. So it goes, let's do our retreat priorities. So, it cannot follow priority one, cannot follow priority two. Can follow. Priority four. So, um, so since that is along a road, pike, or trail, we do not take a manpower loss. That's one, two, three, four. All right, so let's move that up the victory points. Two. All right, so we have a plus seven on the 23 
And that is a simple advance. Okay. So, USA. USA nurse USA hmm. USA will pass CSA will pass as well <clears throat> All right. So now we go to recovery. And in the module, there are two buttons. Uh, normal weather recovery and rain recovery. Since there's no rain in this scenario, we'll click the normal button. So what happened? Well, all of our units with two fatigue or less had their fatigues removed. Units with three fatigue or more um, were flipped to exhausted and then dropped three fatigue levels. So you can see Howard's core is exhausted, disorganized with one fatigue on him already, but they did some heavy pushing yesterday and opened this gap. All right, so we can do leader transfers and we are pretty much right where I want everyone. So let's go with initiative. So CSA. Um, we will entrench here. CSA again. So let's take, let's take Canty and we'll delete that entrenchment. We'll go one and what is the cost for movement along trail Two, three. All right, so it says so we'll roll Canty again. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. CSA. All right, let's entrench, cheat them. USA. So let's go Baird, move Baird into here. And just so we can see, put everyone on top there. All right, USA. All right, so let's let's go for it here. So.
Palmer will call for an assault. So let's find out our assault number. So it's one. So we can assault with one unit. Sherman, however, can call for a grand assault. So no. Do we fatigue units in a grand assault? If they're not activated. I believe the answer. Yes. Wait, no. So the answer is no. Alright, so we have to make a pretty bad attack here. So it's 39. Oh man, they're going to get smoked. Well, well, let's see. So 16 to 39 is 1 to 3. So minus 2. Uh, let's see. Tactical... Plus one assault. Plus one artillery. So what kind of hex is that? That is hill. So minus one. Ugh. All right, two for ratio. One for assault. One for tactical. Minus one for artillery. So we are looking at minus one. And then for flank, we have plus four and one covered hex to three. All right, so plus three for final flank. So let's just run through it. So minus two for ratio, minus one for artillery. So that's minus three, which is offset by the flank. So then we have plus one for assault and plus one for tactical. It's a plus two net. All right, it's so not terrible. So CSA, USA. Ouch. So plus three or minus three, I should say. All right, and that is no result for the defenders, and then for the attackers, sixteen minus three is two. David. Obviously, that's not what we wanted to have happen. All right. USA. So let's go McCook. 
but we'll try and activate it for an assault. McCook says, yes, let's assault. All right. So we have a ratio of two to one. We have an even tactical. Uh, artillery, we have minus two. So plus one ratio, minus two already, and then flank. Flank we have plus four. So it's plus three, so CSA, USA. All right, so seven to three. So that's a plus four. So the defender has combat value of two. Plus four is D. So it's disorganized. And then it retreats. Well, our retreat options kind of suck. Teed these before I forget. All right. So we can't follow number one, number two. Three. So we can follow four. We do take a single loss there. Now, I believe that that is not mitigated. By this here, since it's not a cavalry retreat, it's a regular retreat that a cavalry unit is doing. We could go there, but it's just going to mess us up some more. All right. Um, now, the Union, they had plus seven, so they could advance. So we will. All right, CSA. Mm -hmm. CSA will pass for the moment, so Union. So let's go Logan. Ugh, killing us. So one. 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 Alright, uh... Union. So let's go Logan again. Uh, we'll activate Osterhaus and ML Smith only. Of course. Now they're ripping. Alright. Union. So let's go... Mm 
Let's try an assault with Booker. So rolling his command value. So six minus two, so four units may attack. So we have Williams and Butterfield. So it's 15 to 29. So that is barely one to one. Okay. Um, let's see. Tactical plus one. Assault plus one. So we're rolling with a plus two so far. Um, so they have plus five artillery. Or technically it's minus five. Um, but it's a mountain hex. So no effect. Um, all right, so they get a plus two for defending the mountain. So it, it's an even attack. Uh, not good. So CSA USA. So minus two. Five minus two is a single fatigue. And then, oops. And then 29 minus two is three, David. Okay. Not good. All right, Confederates. Confederates will pass. So the Union will move. We'll go with, uh, let's see, we've got Geary here. One, two, three, four. All right, Union again. All right, let's go Howard, and we will activate his core. So we'll activate them in Assault on Stuart. So let's roll his command value. All right, so the Assault goes off, so we get all three. Let's see if Sherman can make it a Grand Assault. No. All right, so we have 21... 26 26 to 29 so that's one to two uh tactical is even and we have minus four artillery and that was in a hill, so that's minus one. So let's say that cancels out the assault. So right now we're looking at a minus one. Then we come to flank. Flank is plus four. So it was a plus three attack, so CSA, USA. 
There we go. So that is a plus six. So plus six. So 13 plus six is three DR. All right, now it has to retreat. Well, technically, it's a route. So we have to go here. So we take another loss. Let me just make sure that we're taking losses in retreats as well. Yes. So it's one, two, and then let's say three, four. Or let's just go two. Yeah. Whew, that comes as a relief. All right. TSA. Um, well, let's move Hinman. So we'll go one, two, three, four. CSA again. We're going to go, we'll do one hex. We need to try and form something of a line here. All right. USA. Um, To have Schofield go. So four. We can go one. Then we can move all of them here. USA. So let's activate Davis. Let's activate Palmer and we'll activate Davis and Baird. All right, so let's move Baird first. One, two, one, two, three, four. 
two, three, four. And then we'll do EM for Baird. That's uh, five plus one is six. So they are going to be disorganized, pretty sure. USA. Well, what are our options? Palmer can activate Davis. So we had a two to one. Artillery is covered. Let's try it. Um, so actually, let's see if Palmer, let's do both of them. So Palmer, let's roll his command value. Nothing. Assault gets shut down. USA. Go beach. USA again. Uh, that would be a pretty poor attack. Um, damn. Maybe, maybe we pass here. Um, Yeah, actually, let's activate dodge. We're going to go six. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that's way too long. How much is a clear hex? Er, it's rolling. So three, four, Five, six, three, four, five. Now the rebels have problems because we can really threaten any part of this road that we want. The USA. Let's go dodge. Activating Sweeney. Only. The two. Uh, 
Uh, well, let's just take our one hex min. Go there. <laughs> yeah, one hex min lost all of your movement points so we would be attacking with a minus three so four to one is plus three so it would be a zero so we don't want to do that all right usa So Sorry about this, I know this is not exciting. Okay. So let's activate dodge. So we'll go Veach and Sweeney, so... Let's see, what do we do first? Do we do our EMs first? Probably. Yes. All right, so. So EM for Sweeney. Good. And Veach. Good. We'll transfer to there. And now we'll roll MP. Should have done that before. All right, so it's four. So we'll spend all of it on an attack. So let's pull up the modifiers once again. So it's prepared attack, so we get a plus one. And it's a four to one, so we get a plus three. So it's a plus four, plus two for tactical. And then no effect for artillery. So it's a plus six. So CSA, USA. Well, it was a narrow thing, but it's a plus two. So, Govan, let's see, Govan is three plus two, so that's going to be D, and then retreat, well, one, two, and then 12 plus two is one, D and then A. One, two. All right.
USA. Um, go the ninth Illinois, eleven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. CSA. Well, we'll delete that. And where do we want to go with them? Well, let's roll it with hood. So five, one, two, three, four, five. Now they've gotten themselves into a bit of a situation. Where's Johnston? So CSA. So 13 to 11, however... We would have a plus two for tactical and then a plus four for final flank so it would be a plus six and then it is a clear hex with a redoubt It's minus two, so that'd be plus four, and then plus one for assault. It's plus five, so let's let's give it a go. CSA USA. So it's a plus seven. Not good. All right, so Defender, 11 plus seven, two. D and R. No, one. That's good there. So that is another two losses. And then for 13 plus seven is a simple advance. No, let's decide not to. USA. Spillfield, we don't want to waste our opportunity. So twenty three, twenty three against six. Alright, so 
activate these guys for an assault. And then we'll roll our command value. So it's a two. Which means we can attack with two. So let's grab Cox and Hoovy. Or let's take a look at the manpower chart. Eh, either way, we're on the 12 to 18. So 16, so 3 to 1. So 3 to 1 is plus 2. Plus 1 for assault is plus 3. Uh, plus 1 for clear. It's a plus one. Yeah, I think it is just a plus one. So, PSA USA. Oof. I'm okay. Um, all right, so. Defender, plus three, so six, minus three is nothing, and then 16 plus three is one, oh, minus three, two, David. So the thing I would say about this is that um, if this weren't a scenario, you certainly wouldn't be bathering your forces around like this. That's for sure. Um, but it makes for an exciting game. Um, I suppose Martin is still active. Geary could try something. Booker could try something again, I guess, but, um, let's see, CSA, well, Hood, I don't think I rolled for a Hood's assault on these guys, I'm gonna assume it's good, well, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna try and assault them again, and I'll roll twice. So first time, good. Second time, good. So 13 to three and a half is 13 to three. So that's four to one. That's plus three, plus one for assault is four. Plus two, tactical is six, so plus six. CSA USA 11. It was plus nine. So their value is three and a half. So that's two, one, two. And we can advance. So we will. USA. Well, I think we pass here. And the Confederates will pass as well. So I've moved up the turn here. So we do get Scott from this turn here. And Scott enters.
any railroad hacks from 1809, which is, where'd my mouse go? Here. To 4322, which is like way down here. I don't know why you would, but you could. And when you place them, you place them at fatigue four on his exhausted side. There's that. All right, so recovery. All right. So initiatives. Well, leader transfer. Probably stay, stay with everyone. So, okay. So Confederates. Well, we need to try and get Dodge off the road here. But we don't want to give up Dalton either. Um... So since this is the final turn and this kind of thing matters, so the Union right now has um, 30 manpower VP lost to 24 gained, so minus 6, and we have an undemoralized unit here. Or plus 20, which is 14, which is Confederate marginal. So if the Union the Union needs to take at least one one more point worth, whether it's dealing a manpower loss or taking Dalton or Tilton here. Um, I don't know which is more likely. Um, yeah, this is definitely going to be tough. Might be a narrow Confederate victory. All right, here though, 26 to 6, 6, 12, 18, 24. 6, 12, 18, 24 is 4, 1. Uh, plus 4. And let's see. Let's look at the terrain. It's rough. So no effect. Okay, let's do an assault with Palmer, so it goes off, so what did we figure it at? Plus three for odds. Nothing for tactical. Nothing for artillery, plus one for assault. Four to one. CSA, USA. Okay. So that is a plus six.
6 plus 6 is 2. David, 1, 2. And now it is demoralized. And that is 26 plus 6. So we can advance. Why don't we, why don't we do that? So I took manpower loss. So one, one, two. So it's thirty to sixteen, twenty two. Thirty twenty two plus eight. So we're looking now that shifted it. I might have done the math wrong, but that shifted it to a union victory. So now it is incumbent on the Confederate to do something. But it is the Union's turn first. So let's go with Johnson. EM for Johnston and uh, okay, so that is a six. Mm. So it's a, it's a one, but I don't think. Yeah, it doesn't count for VP. Fortunately for you. All right. USA. All right, let's do hooker against bait A. Actually, there's really no point in doing that because these two hexes are going to be removed in final flank. So that would be plus two, which would only cancel out the mountain not a very good attack no matter how you slice it
Okay, let's pass. All right. Uh, it's gonna be tough to stop the union. All right, uh, hood. All right, so he gets to go eight. One, two, three. Go. Yep, that's really, that's where you want to be. All right, so that's one, so they have seven, so they can spend four, so I'll have three MP left to get a plus one, and then plus one for tactical, and then ratio one to one, so it is a plus two, and then flank, Plus four, so it is plus plus six to the Confederate CSA USA. Plus six. All right, so seven. Six is two. D. And then route. One. Two, that is manpower loss. Three, four. So now it is back to a Confederate victory. USA. Well, let's see if we can make some magic happen here. So let's go Schofield against Hardy. Let's roll. No. Assault does well. That's five minus two is three, so one unit gets to assault, so we'll go with Judah. 
And then let's see if Sherman can make it a grand assault. So we need a low number. So he can add one more hex. Where is it? Where is it? All right. I think this would give us the most beneficial. All right. So 26, 33. Um, so 33 to 24 is 2 to 1. Um, let's see. So that's 5, 6 artillery versus 2. So that's plus 4. No effect. So two to one, plus one for the assault. Is plus two, minus one for Hardy, plus one, plus four for final for flank, five, and then minus one for Dalton being covered is plus four. So CSA, USA. So that is a plus one. So not what the Union wanted to see. So plus one. So let's see, 14 plus one is one. Uh, David. And then 26. Twenty-eight is two to one. And I did yeah, I did two to one plus two five. Plus four. I did it right. Alright, so boy. One, two, three. One. All right, CSA. So looking at it, USA has 40 minus 44 minus 11. Yeah, minus 11 VP. So that's a Confederate victory. So they need to get into Dalton or Tilton. And folks, it just doesn't look like it is going to happen.
maybe McPherson can march. Yeah, let's try that. All right, Logan. Er, wait, it is CSA turn. So let's go, let's pass. So Logan, that's not gonna, one. to CSA. We'll pass, so we'll go Logan again. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, Confederacy. So we'll delete that. And we'll go Stevenson. Our code will activate Stevenson. So six, one. All right, and let's attack. So it's a five to one. Five to one. So plus five. Tactical plus zero. Um Woods, backed artillery, so plus five, so that turns out to be a plus four. So plus four in the combat value here, so that's a D. R. And go one, We'll transfer from there. Uh, now let's just look at our retreats. All right, they're not going to incur any manpower losses since it's a lot of fake. So let's see. Yes, I. Try and assault with hood. Ooh, not gonna go off. All right, so these guys will go here. CSA. All right, so let's try Hood again for an assault. <laughs> and another six, so that will finish off that unit.
they're supposed to be demoralized. Alright. All right. Logan will try an assault. This is probably ball game if he doesn't get it. He does get it. Alright, so let's see. We have 27 attacking 8. So that's 3 to 1. And 2 artillery against 4, 5. So that's plus 3. So that gets us out of the bad place. So 2, 4, 6, 8. So we have 3 to 1 odds. We have plus 1 tactical. Plus 1 for assault. So that's, we're looking at a running plus 4. Um, no modifiers for flank. However... We are attacking across a ford. So now it becomes a plus two. So CSA USA. <laughs> plus six for the Union. Wow, wow, wow. All right. Um, so they have a four plus six is two. So we'll just take one from each. D. Capital R. So let's go one, two, three, four, five. Five, six, and then one, two, three. Twenty seven plus six. One A. I can't even tell you how insane that sequence of events was. It was insane. Uh, <laughs> so Tilton is worth plus 35. So the Union has plus 35. And let's check our victory points here. So they have 23, 46, so minus 11. And then 13 times 3, 26, 39, minus 11 is 28. So it's a union marginal. What can we do? Can we get... Man, I just, I gotta say, so, like, Hood whiffing twice here to pull off his assault, uh, absolutely ridiculous, ridiculous, um, 
because if he had swatted him around, I mean, he was going to get a 2 to 1, plus 1, so that's plus 2, plus 1 for the assault is 3, no artillery, so like a plus 3, and the way that the Confederates are rolling... I mean, I guess I could, one, two, three, I guess I could try and attack with Walker. Um, so Hood will activate Walker. One, two, three. Um, EM rule passes. So now we could do a minus one. We have one MP, so we can do a minus one, 13 to five, so two to one, that's zero, plus one for tactical. I do it. Um, yeah, let's let's try it. Plus one CSA USA. So it's even. So five even. It's disorganized. Well, it's already disorganized. And then 13 even is one disorganized. Probably should have, probably should have gone for the assault. Uh. Do we have a way to get him out of Tilton? Don't think so. Yeah, you know what? I am going to call it right here. So just to run it down again, we have... Um... 14 CSA losses, which translates to 42 Union victory points. The Union have 23 losses, 46, so it's minus 4. They have Tilton, which is plus 35, so that nets out to plus 31. So that last abortive attack by Hood put us to a Union marginal or substantive victory. I mean, I guess we could try and battle back and forth for that couple points there, but there's just nowhere that the Confederates will be able to get a really good attack. I mean, I guess the best we could do let's try and assault with I mean let's just try and assault with Hardy okay so we get Hinman and let's do Johnston no yeah so we tried the grand assault and Johnston said nope so yeah, I don't want to follow through on actually doing the attack. We'll get smoked. Yeah, well, eh, might as well. So 9 to 15. Minus 2 in clear for artillery. Er, that's rolling. Minus two for that. Minus 
three plus one for assault is minus two. Plus one for tactical is minus one. Uh, flank is fine, so minus one. TSA, USA. Yeah. Um, so four. So minus, minus four. Fifteen minus four. They're good. And then nine minus four is that's another six victory points for the union so that'll put them up to 36 which is not quite enough for decisive victory but it is a union finish and um, it was very, very close. <laughs> it was so close. It came down to these guys getting enough movement points to march to here and then hit their assault and then get the result that they needed to clear the hacks and to resist counterattacks from Hood. Um, yeah that was uh that was pretty exciting um this has been a long video so if you watched all of it i appreciate you um i know i made a couple of mistakes like i think i think there should be quite a few more units out there that are demoralized but um i hope you enjoyed uh it was very tense it was a very nice finish and um, we'll be back soon with Scenario 3, The Battle for Rosaka. Thank you. This is Mike, and uh, we'll see you around.